So I've just made up a batch of uh, 10 can tenors. You can see them here on the bench. And a lot of people ask me how I go about testing the uh, antennas that I make because uh, it can be quite time consuming testing each one of these. But uh, I want to quickly show you the uh, solution that I came up with uh, some time ago now that makes the uh, whole operation of testing these pretty quick and uh, pretty simple. So to speed up testing, uh, rather than uh, testing one each individually, screwing on a uh, alpha card and screwing it back off again and then uh, repeating the process over and over again, I uh, got this old uh, box. It uh, had a uh, knockoff Dremel tool inside it and uh, basically I've uh, lined it here and here with uh, cork and uh, there's two holes at the top here that uh, fit over these two SMA connectors that are down here. These are bulkhead SMA connectors and uh, what I did, I got my Dremel and I ground off all the threads on these two uh, uh, bulkhead SMA connectors and what that allows me to do is if I get a connector here, I can just stick that connector over the top. It makes uh, you know the connection with the centre pin and still makes a good ground connection over the top. I can test and then pull it off when I've finished and the same on this one here. Again, and then pull it off when I finish. So let me uh, open this up and show you how simple it is. And uh, as I say, I knocked this up in uh, probably less than an hour. And uh, I tidied it up by putting this uh, base on here uh, much later. It's uh, one of those little projects where you just think of something, knock it up, and uh, what you've managed to create, uh, you know, just pretty quickly on the fly, turns out to be uh, a rock solid. Uh, idea so let me open this up and show you the inside so I did attach this base with screws just uh, because you know uh, possibly in the future I may want to get in here to uh, replace something on the inside if it breaks and uh, using screws is a lot better than gluing this base on but here we are on the inside then and uh, as you can see we've just got two identical uh, alpha cards one here one here uh, coax uh, connecting to the uh, alpha cards one going off to uh, the SMA connector on this side that goes through the cork and the same uh, on the opposite side as well and uh, then the two uh, USB leads both coming in through a uh, rough cut hole that I uh, cut in the side here I had to cut it wide enough to allow the connectors through but, uh, you know, something that I made quickly on the fly just worked really, really well. And I'm uh, still using it today. I haven't done anything else to it apart from, as I say, put that base on there. So really, really simple. So let me show you it in action because I've made uh, a few cantennas recently and uh, I do need to test them. So let's get on with the test then so you can see how uh, this works with the setup. Remember, I'm not breaking any records with these cantennas. I mean, it's going, it's uh, quite low off the ground, obviously, because it's on my bench. And it's going through uh, the brick wall, uh, breeze block and brick. And there's an open field behind me. There's a few houses further on and a school. But we should be able to pick up a few access points. And I know, um, you know, the uh, strength of uh, a fully working Cantenna, what it can pick up through this brick wall. So let's give this a test then so you can see how quickly I can get through the cantennas. So that one's working fine, or those two are working fine. Those two are also working fine. And you can just imagine how long this used to take me uh, screwing in an alpha card, then uh, testing it, unscrewing it again, each one. It really was a pain but with this setup now I can fly through the testing and uh, identify any that are indeed faulty.
So it's a shame that the uh, software, um, you know, there's no easy way of resetting uh, the software between each test. But basically, uh, they go dead in between when I uh, remove the antenna, and then when I put two fresh antennas on again, they uh, reactivate. Basically, it gives me a good idea, basically, of uh, you know whether a antenna is wired upright or uh, whether it's going to be a faulty one. So as you uh, saw in that test, it only takes me uh, a minute or so to uh, test uh, those uh, ten antennas. It's really cut the uh, time down. I mean, the only thing with this, I had to turn it round the opposite direction because with the antennas here, the uh, uh, little uh, mount that I use uh, create for the uh, tripods is a little bit higher than the uh, SMA connector, so you don't get a good connection if you have it lined up uh, this way. So. I did have to uh, do what well, I do have to turn it around and test it in that direction but that's uh, no big deal really and uh, I can test uh, different antennas this one here uh, is uh, one that's on a tripod and again exactly the same thing I can just uh, hold it in there and then uh, release it when I've tested it um, I do want to come up with an idea in the future for this kind of uh, antenna here where I've got the uh, you know the coax on here I want to uh, create some kind of uh, mount possibly here that uh, I can quickly pop an antenna like this on the mount and then test it with the uh, SMA connector here just to hold it when you've got the flexible coax in in place because at the moment with uh, an antenna like this what I tend to do is hold it and just uh, test one at a time and uh, you know if I come up with some kind of mount I'll be able to do uh, two at a time like I can with uh, these antennas here but uh, hopefully uh, you know you've uh, seen how I uh, come up with something uh, really really simple to uh, test the uh, antennas pretty quickly I mean it's uh, something that I didn't think about at the time you start making antennas then you gotta think well you know I've made uh, 10 or 20 antennas here how am I going to test them screwing the uh, alpha card in and out each time really isn't an option it does take a lot of time to do that so uh, you know any uh, ideas on how I can come up with a mount uh, in there please uh, you know let me know in the comments uh, anything that you want to add to this that I could uh, improve things then also let me know but uh, you know if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and hopefully you'll join me on the next one